Everything needs to be updated. Everything I think the whole entire Park Hill needs to be updated. Maurice Cromwell has lived in the Park Hill apartments for 40 years and says a facelift is well overdue. Now the federal government is stepping in to try and supercharge those efforts with climate dollars from the Inflation Reduction Act. <laughs> Housing and Urban Development Regional Administrator Alika Amprey Samuel was on hand to present building ownership with a check for $2.25 million. The money will help them upgrade the HVAC system and put in modern electric appliances. So we're talking about stoves, we're talking about refrigerators, and even those little things that they might seem small make a huge difference when we're talking about utility costs. A building supervisor showed us how basic electrical upgrades are already underway in vacant units. The gas stove is gone and the unit is being rewired, the electrical box upgraded. These gas-powered steam radiators will soon be obsolete once modern heating and cooling is added. The building is privately owned by a large landlord but heavily subsidized by HUD to support people who otherwise would not be able to afford housing, which means modern improvements like this don't happen without government intervention. This will, you know, just make a better unit and a better uh, overall uh, life. The most direct impact for tenants is money. They are expected to save each month on their utility bills once the work is done. You hope your bill goes down afterward? I definitely do. <laughs> I definitely do.